You are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Thank you, Marshall. Organic products. You know what? Um, in business, sometimes you have to see what's coming. I'm going to tell you what's going to make a big splash. Organic products, whether it's or especially like organic skincare, foods, uh, toothpaste, things of that nature, right? Like, um, I use the example of toothpaste. I've been using non-fluoride toothpaste for the past for the past few weeks, right? At least uh, more than a month, right? I got some organic, uh, you know, some non fluoride stuff at a at that hair expo uh, I visited a while ago, right? Been using it now. It's like I probably won't touch anything with fluoride again in it anyway. And plus, even with fluoride, you have countless studies, countless studies saying this shit is toxic, right? But, you know, people used to it and everything. But, in fact, a lot of these products are toxic. What's happening with the organic products, people are getting more conscious. You know, they get more conscious of what they're putting on their skin. Like, if you're just putting, like, regular lotion on your skin, I mean, that's going into your body. So, people looking at more natural stuff, and it's like, they actually work better. Like, for example... You know, shea butter. Now, I use some regular lotion sometimes still, but there's, like, parts of me. I just put it on shea butter, especially, you know, if you have, like, uh, rashes or something like that. Shea butter works a whole... It, it works great. That's why I should. Some of those African folks be using um, shea butter and stuff. That's probably why their skin is always so great. <laughs> Seriously, shea butter, I mean, you could heal anything with it. I mean, I remember, you know, when my sons were babies and stuff, uh, they get a diaper rash because that's inevitable. You know, we just put some shea butter on it. They were good to go, you know, like, but it's an organic thing. Stuff that's more organic can go for it. Because the reason why people are getting more conscious, they're reading the labels now. People need to look into those things, especially if you look at something like, Okay, let me use the shea butter example. People using that for their skin. Um, they got shea butter products for for your hair. Like um, I, did, I, I get because I get my products from this local flea market. Um, it's an African couple. They have their kids in there, and they do brisk business. Sell them five five dollars a jar. Plus, they got some other stuff in there, but. The thing with organic products, once you start using them and get used to them, they actually make you some money. And there's a lot in the um, quiz is kept, especially in the black community. There are many black women who are creating their own natural hair products, skin products, everything. That's natural. It's, uh, it's not using all these chemicals, which we still don't know the long-term effects of. And... They're making money with it. In fact, I think a good business, and I'll throw this out there because we there's never too many, but a good business might be having like some type of store that just sells these type of products. You know, like is like near me, there's some big, fairly big store that sells all these hair products and everything. And the thing is with that, like I said, it's something people are always gonna use. Once they start buying it, they keep buying it. And you can actually, with the products, you can actually make a very good living. You know, like that uh, place I get my stuff up at that flea market. I know you talking maybe, what they paying per month for their space might be, might be a couple hundred dollars. A couple hundred dollars and they only in there, even though they could be in there four days a week, they only in there like two days a week. But you make that money back in a day, a single day. So if you got eight days you selling this stuff, shoot, you're making good money. And then maybe you could say, I, you know, I got some products from a woman. She was in like a major mall in the Baltimore area, Townsend Town Center. You know, anybody in the area, just check, the, check her out. 
you know, just has a kiosk. But see, you can expand because, like I say, it's a sticky. I don't care how technically advanced we get. People always going to keep up that hygiene. And toothpaste. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I mean, we got all these studies saying fluoride is bad. <laughs> all these studies that people still brushing their teeth with it. I mean, I guess the dentist want them to keep going. But, you know, you start using some of this other stuff. You start, uh, you know, bentonite clay and, um, you know, charcoal. I'm noticing a difference already. I'm just like, hey, wait a minute. You know, teeth feel cleaner and whatnot. But that's the future, yo. That's the future. And, you know, the beauty of it is it's nowhere near saturation point. So somebody could start a business now. And with the right marketing, they could probably get to a million dollars very quickly. You know, well, relatively quickly, a million dollar business. Or at least, you know, enough to sustain yourself. Because right now, most of the organic products, I mean, you usually got to find an organic market. Which aren't that many. I mean, they might have some stores might carry it, but it's like a small section of it. That would be, you know, we're talking about, people talking about a retail apocalypse and all of that. But products like that, people still buy stuff, but it has to be some people buy. And as, as you get more and more of a community of people. In fact, I'm going to talk about community in my next video. Right? But as you get more and more of a community of people who are buying this stuff, it creates, it's, it's more, it's a... Uh, as you get more and more of a community, shoot, you make more money. Especially if you can find some place or put it someplace where you're going to have a good amount of people. You know? In fact, I've talked about that community thing before, but I'm going to do it again. Community of uh, consumers. Anyway, right? That's something to look into. I mean, that's I want everybody to really check it out. I'm, I'm going to be checking it out. Like anybody, because, and think about it too, especially for people in the black community, because a lot of women, they're manufacturing this stuff in their kitchens. Now imagine somebody say, hey, let's expand this. You can, you can, from manufacturing to distribution to, you know, on the shelves, that's a process that many black people, in fact, can get into right now, ground floor, right? Because, it, and then as the community expands, the community of consumers expands, more money. So think about it. Think about it. Organic products, uh, that could be more organic food. The organic food, that's a little bit tougher. But, you know, it's the same principle just like with restaurants and everything. Right? If you have a good product, everybody supports it. So, anyway, want to throw that out there for everybody. Let's go make that money.